Good morning and welcome back to The White Collar Housewife. Today I am going to be sharing with you the unique way that I keep track of our meals and menus and how I'm able to make the job of grocery shopping a little bit easier to split with my husband. All right, let's get right to it. So you know how I love to look at professionals in the field and see what they do. So I turned to restaurants and this is what I came up with. So. First, I went through and made a list of all of the foods that my family would eat. And we came up, I brainstormed with them, and we came up with three pages worth of food that we will eat. So, that's the first thing I did. Next, I went through and marked which ones can be made vegetarian, because we do have a vegetarian in the family. So, for instance, the stroganoff can be made with mushrooms rather than with beef. Then I categorized them by which ones are popular, vegetarian, uncommon, and then our summertime favorites when these items are in season. Now on to what I do to make it easier for my husband and I to share the role of grocery shopping and meal planning. So under each item, I have put down everything it takes to make that thing. So my husband, when he's making the grocery shopping list, because he does do our grocery shopping, he can just go and check, do we have the things for tamale pie? What do I need to get for it? And he doesn't have to ask me. And if the children are looking on the menu, it kind of jogs their memory as to what that meal was. They don't always remember three pages worth of things I've fed them before. You'll also notice that these are laminated. I did it with laminating sheets. No need for a machine or to send it out or anything like that. Makes it very durable if somehow spots get on it. And it also makes it feel kind of fancy. So I hope that you have enjoyed this short explanation of how I have turned to the restaurant industry in order to make it a little bit easier for our family to do meal planning.